hey guys welcome back to my channel and yeah i haven't filmed a video in so long because i've just been so so lazy i finally found the courage to you know set up my camera and just record something so today i'm gonna be testing out um products by models own i don't know if anyone knows this brand but i bought these makeup stuff from the pound shop yes i said the pound shop you guys should know me by now i'm the bargain queen if i see a bargain i'm gonna go for it so i've seen some products and and i saw that they have the names of products that i usually go for so like coco and mocha and those are usually the names of the shades that i usually go for so i was thinking okay pound shop so i'm seeing coco i'm seeing marker and i'm seeing biscuit i've seen all these different things so the foundation is mocha there's a cream to powder foundation called and that's coco and then i even had a concealer and that's biscuit so we're just going to be testing them out and hopefully it comes out all right because like i do have a feeling that this is gonna go wrong like i've been waffling a lot so let's just get into the video maybe i should swatch everything and then yeah so let me swatch the cream to powder and it looks like that so i have like tested it but now it's the real deal so you can see okay that is the foundation color i think it's workable i think it is workable so let's just you know have faith and hopefully things will go right so now we're going to do the foundation it looks like this and it's the shade mocha all right that's the color of the foundation it looks more like a concealer color for me so that's not necessary that's not mocha that's mocking it that's what that's doing and lastly i'm going to use the concealer swatch the concealer and this is in the shade biscuit it's not a liquid so i don't really use other formulas of like concealer so this is going to be my first time trying a cream so let's swatch that all wrong okay so there are the three shades of these products. This is gonna go wrong, but let me just let me just see what I can do to you know make it spice it up, make it look good. So on this side of my face, I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the cream to powder foundation, and on this side of my face, I'm gonna be using the the liquid foundation. And I'm going to see how this is going to turn out. I'm really scared. So for the cream to powder foundation, I'm going to apply it with this sponge that it came with. Moment of truth, guys. Oh, my God. I look like I'm ready to go into a coffin. Like, this is terrible. I'm going to use a brush as well to try and buff it out. Hopefully, we can get something. So, this is the first side. Obviously, we, we, we've established it. The colour is way off. That's, that's the one I'm using. So, I don't know what this shade is. So, now I'm going to use the liquid foundation. And what I will say positively about this foundation, I do kind of, I like the texture and I like the, I like the shade. It looks like it'll be a very nice concealer colour and it also looks like it'll be a good concealer because the texture is really thick. Running. why are you running this is terrible oh my god like 
the coverage is nice. I won't lie, the coverage of the liquid is nice. If it was a nice shade match for me, I feel like it would it wouldn't look this crazy. But then why call it mocha? That's what I just don't get. And why call this cocoa? Last but not least, I'm going to use, I'm going to use the concealer. Like, this is, this isn't going to be positive. We've established this, but we must finish. So, I'm going to use that. And I don't know what I'm going to use to blend this, but let's go. Oh, my. Okay, so... Finally, we got something positive out of this, but let me not speak too soon. So, let me blend it out with my brush. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, look. Okay. So, guys, wait, wait. Before you, before you jump to conclusions... Let me just give the good and the bad. This product, I don't think I have anything good to say about it. The only thing I could say is that the colour was... <sighs> the undertone of this colour is good. Because it has a red undertone, as you can see. Which is the undertone that I like. And that's the only thing I can say. The undertone was good, but the shade was not good. So let's put that away i like this foundation but it's unfortunate that this isn't my shade because it's so uh, this is so nice this is such a good everyday foundation like it's thick it's got some coverage but you can't tell because of the color but it's got some coverage it's got a decent undertone as well as you can see like it's got a warm undertone so this would have been so good if this was in my shade and especially because i got this for a pound this would have been a bargain would have been a bargain but unfortunately it's not my shade the product that i was very very shocked about was the concealer because i never expected it to look good obviously you can't really tell because the foundation really like it's not really helping me but you could tell that this would be a banger for every day because look how easily it blended look how easily it blended and i'd even wet my brush is dry and it was just so easy to blend and plus the undertone once again this brand has good undertones for dark okay medium to dark skin tones let me not say dark because it didn't really reach my level of dark so mm. but the undertones are good this was this was an interesting video i think i might carry on doing that i'm going to be on the lookout for products that have the names of the products that i usually use so like um shades that are called mocha that are called deep rich that are called deep that are called cocoa I'm going to be testing those products to see if, like, all the makeup brands are in sync. Because clearly this one was not... They didn't really get the memo of what Mocha or Coco is. So, yeah, I think I might do those videos next. But do let me know in the comments how you found the individual makeup. Let's not say the makeup as a whole, but what do you think of the makeup and let me know if you do want me to search around for products that have you know the names of the products i would usually use so that i know that you know i'm not going to be going wasting money and no one's watching my videos like we need to know that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video bye <music>